Your word. We have been enjoying your word and your presence here in our midst. I think and so, Father, we say for this session also, do even greater. Let everyone here be abundantly blessed. And so, also, those that are watching us through the media, that at the end of this lecture, oh God, we will all be taken to a higher level in you. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen in Jesus' name. I know you have been dancing and with all this, award. please don't sleep. If you sleep, that's an impediment to Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the topic here uh, today that we're going to treat for this session is dealing with ungodliness. Dealing with ungodliness and getting rid of it in our homes and in our lives as women we all know our theme removing the impediments Isaiah 57 verse 14 I'm reading amplified version and the word of one shall go forth cast up cast up Prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of the spiritual return of my people. And the title says, We have to deal with ungodliness. And get rid of it. In our homes. And in our lives. That this is our responsibility as women. Now, if if I know we understand what impediment means from all these lectures we've received. And in fact, the lecture one we heard today. It was fantastic. Were you all blessed? Are you sure? Amen. Amen. Now, if I we, sometimes if you want to understand some things, you have to consider the opposite. For us to get better understanding. So if we say ungodliness. The opposite will be what? Godliness. That sounds like our Christian language here. So when we say when you hear godliness, what comes to your mind? What do you think it would mean? Yes? Godliness. Any idea? Holiness, yes. Righteousness. Yes. Faithfulness. Steadfastness. And all these things are characteristics of who? Of our God. Amen. And so ungodliness then will be the opposite. That, that means it will have nothing to do with God. It is not holy. It is disobedience to God. It is not conforming with the teachings of the scripture. It is anti-God. So anything that is not for God is ungodly. Anything that is contrary to the teachings of the scriptures is ungodly. Anything that does not glorify God 
that does not bring out the nature of God. But that only uh, uh, promotes the nature of the devil. Then that is ungodliness. And our title here says we must get rid of all these things in our homes. And in our lives. And that this is one of our responsibilities as women. Let's see 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7. Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7. Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7. Yes. Uh-huh. I want you to listen to the kind of calling God has put on you. Your reason for being a Christian. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Uh For Thank God you. has not called us unto uncleanness, but onlyness. Amen. Amen. Yoruba says, Iwa eri. Un uncleanness. Filthy, filthy, filthy. That's the dirty, he dirty, he dirty. And this has to do with the devil. It has to do with the flesh. Romans 8, 7 tells us that whoever is inhibiting these features is an enemy to God. So if you have any of the characteristics of ungodliness, I want to about your Lord more. I want to see your The Bible says you are an enemy. That kind of mind is enmity to God. We barely, we barely do it. That be only your turn is your Lord. It says it cannot even please God. Only collect your Lord, Lord. It's impossible. It can do it. Oh, she, she. And Galatians five nineteen, we are familiar with the scripture. Nineteen to twenty one tells uh uh list some of those. Characteristics of ungodliness, of flesh. Iwe galati ori kanu wa si sale se koko di logo so bokba wo ju shi ati wa ji ti o mo pe ko she ti olorun. And First Peter four three also mentions some. Be no ni we bete ru no so ni pare. In fact, it is telling others it is the nature of the Gentiles. Oni ele je wa wo ke feri. It is their desire. Ye on ti wo wa ni nu o ko wo ni ye. First Corinthians ten fourteen says we must. From all these things. And example of ungodliness or nature of, uh, of, of the enemy, the devil, or flesh. Would be anybody has an idea? What are some of those things that have to do with ungodliness? I want to or the flesh. Murder. Envy. Envy. Ilara. Drunkenness. What else? Lying. Keeping malice. Backbiting. How about anger? Just anger outbursts. Adultery. Yes, what else? False witness. How about party going? The Bible talks about party spirit. I want to check. I go make it. I don't want my wallet to roll over. I want to party. It could also mean division, causing division in the church. I want to be only my mood to do. I want to be my mood to do. I want to enjoy. Drunkenness. Me moti. Are all this happening in our midst in the church today? She go by one way. You don't share any. No, I want to enjoy alone. Yes, they are. The Bible says we need to get rid of them in our homes and in our lives. First Peter chapter 1 verse 13 through 16. First Peter chapter 1 13 through 16 tells us our nature the the nature nature that we must have. Yes. Yes. 
guard your mind. Uh-huh. Yes, Uh huh. Yes. 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 The areas where the scripture says that we must exhibit the character of this God. Number one. Verse 13. Talks about our minds, right? And that has to do with our thoughts. We must be holy in our thoughts. Philippians 4.8 says, it tells us the things we must, let our mind feed on. the things we must, let our mind feed on. If we want our mind to be holy, Paul said in Philippians 4.8, whatever is true whatever is honest yes whatever is just what else whatever is pure what else whatever is of good report we should think of on of these things. Oh, ya kama wa ni kama rongo bo moji. Whatever be of praise. Oh, kumti abati she. Those are the things that our minds must be thinking. Oh, moji lo ya ki o kwa maro. Otherwise, our minds will become filthy. Like jebe o kwa wa dieleri. And we become unholy before God. Olu wa wa dialai mo ni wa jo alone. I pray. Mokbadura. Filthiness in our minds. May the blood of Jesus push them out. Hey, Jesus Jesus to yes, what area else can what else? Where else can we should we be holy? Verse 15, what does it say? Where in verse 15? Where else should we be holy? Uh-huh. Should one get it's in your manners. King James Version says in your conversation. And Ephesians 4.29 says. Ephesians 4.29. Do not allow corrupt communication to come out of your mouth like profanity some people they, you will hear just you know foul words that you that, that are irritating to the holy spirit the bible says the words that will be coming out of our mouths should be such that will minister grace to the hearers i heard of a woman a christian woman she, she put something in the, the, the thing that she put there was missing. Oh, and then so she got there and said, oh, dear, 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 oh, Who took this thing from this place? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Because anybody told her alone. Then she said, oh, Whoever took this thing, the hand that she used to take it will prosper that I shouldn't say the opposite. Ah. Such should not be coming out of the mouth of Christian women. How about cursing? Some people they will say, ah, 
ogun or something ayelala or something 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 like that awo kwa ma pe ogun ati ayelala they use it to speak wa ma do lati fi soro when they get angry nigbati inu ba nbi won the bible says bibeli wipe can bitterness and sweetness come from the same source oni si ori suki koru ati didun so le ma jade ninu enu kan na so the man that we are using to pray to god and praise him we should not be using the same mouth to be speaking profanity or cursing. How about swearing? We all swear. At least I hear that a lot. Some will say, ah, Olongo. Or some will say, Hello, me, I forgot what's all you want. You're going to go. Women of God. And you bury that is a no no for a holy mouth. Full and no mimo. May the Lord help us in Jesus. Name. So King James Version says in our behavior, in our conduct. But NLT version says something that I really want us to see. That is new living translation. Does anybody have that translation? The NLT translation says, Only in everything that you do, in everything that you do, so that means wherever you go, your eyes, the members of your body, must not be corrupt. Must be holy. So all, whatever you are watching must be holy. You must be holy even with your feet. That means where your feet will take you must be a holy place. We sing that song. My feet carry me, they go. Where there is blessing, carry me de go. Everywhere greatness be, carry me de go. That's where your feet must take you. Don't let your feet take you to where they are backbiting. Don't let your feet take you to where they are shedding blood. Don't let your feet take you to which uh, 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 party. Oh, maybe it's not feet. Maybe it is wing that will take them there. Oh, I wait for But that should not be for a Christian woman. Remember, we are talking about removing ungodliness. Anything that will promote the nature of the devil. The Bible says, get rid of them in your life. Get rid of them in your home. I pray that the presence of the Lord and the glory of God will never depart from our home. Amen. Amen. Ungodliness. In the home and in lives. And getting rid of them. Now there's a person in the scripture. He realized the importance of what we are talking about. And he gave charge to his family. Because he was meant remove, he was meant to remove the ungodness from his house. I'm talking about Jacob. Genesis chapter 35, verse 2 and 4. Let's see how he Genesis 35. Let's see how he handled it. Genesis chapter 5, 20, 35, 2 and 4. Uh -huh. Put away strange gods from among you and be clean. Uh -huh, verse 4. Yes. 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 Yes.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jacob knew that I'm going, we are going to meet this God. And he's a holy God. Ungodliness cannot stay with him. And so as we will approach him, we also must get rid of ungodliness. So he told his wives, and all the people around him, Remove all the strange gods among you. All the earrings and the chains. That is talking about the symbols. The signs of ungodliness. And we as Christians, we are not careful. There are some symbols of ungodliness that can hide in our homes. There are some emblems. Some representation of ungodliness. You know, when you see the lodge, the lodge, the Ogoni, do they have symbols? Benny. Okay. When you see the witches, do they have symbols? You, you, you will say you wouldn't know because you are not in their midst. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But when you see the, those in the cults, do they have signs? Yes. Right? Yes. Now, I don't know their signs. But I've, I think I've seen the sorority and the fraternities and all these things in the in the universities. But they have the way they communicate to themselves. And they have signs that when they see the signs or the symbols on you, they know that you are one of them. And so Jacob also knew that strange gods have symbols. And one of the symbols will be the statue. You remember who hid the statue under and sat Amen. Rachel. Amen. That is the symbol of the gods from her household. That lied on. Maybe for protection. Boy, Maybe for fertility. Boy, Remember the Diana. She are not Diana. In the book of Acts. Nino What did she represent? Kilo representi. Fertility. And Diana will be a, a statue with many breasts. Oh, Jerry, oh, Richard, oh, no, 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 she will give them children. Hallelujah. Amen. What is hiding in your home? What is the sign of ungodliness hiding in your life? If I get to your house, what kind of pictures would I find on your wall? I know some of our youth. If you get to their rooms, you will find a picture of Bob Marley. That is a symbol of something. Some are ignorant of this. But as a child of God, that should not be found with us. And so they have earrings also. Earrings, jewels. Because all these things, to them, they are for protection. They are the instruments of the Gentiles, the Amalekites. Because he meant something to them. But as children of God, they are not to be our symbols. Because that is not who we believe. But the living God that we believe can never share his glory 
or space with any idol. And so also cannot share with the symbols of ungodliness. So Jacob said, Jacob, we the holy God. We cannot approach him with signs and symbols and marks of ungodliness or other gods. So what did you tell them to do about it? He said, remove them, remove them. Remove them. Remove them. Remove them. Remove them. That's, that, that's not your source of protection. Ibante, Ibante, or what do you call that? Bogba, one Ibante, one day, Bogbo. That's not for your protection. He yako ni abore. God is your protection. Alone ni abore. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Removing ungodliness. No, no. I will be alone, Ukuro. From our homes and from our lives. Ni nu aye wa, ti ni nu le wa. I remember a story that I heard. Bogbo, ito konti moranti. From one of the secretaries, actually a former secretary of Baba. Uh, want to Baba, but she shared law. In person of Reverend Mrs. Bankole. Reverend Mrs. Bankole. She gave us a teaching. And she said something that really caught my attention. She said that she mistake. Maybe it was a well, it was a mistake. She didn't plan to. That the offering or whatever the money from church, she brought it to Baba's house. Oh, what? All right, one more thing that one do what's in Baba. And so she came, one wawa, and gave the report to Baba. Oh, what for Baba? Ni esi. And Baba said, What did you say now? Baba ni kilo soni si. Which money? Oh, where wo? She said, Baba, but offering now from the church. Ani oreta ba ni nu ijo. Baba said, You brought God's money to my house. Oh, wo ru bo lo gbe wati nu ile me. Offering to my house. Ore ni nu ile me da pada. Hallelujah. Amen. If it were one of us today, what to would it be? In fact, I heard the report that even some elders would take some Christians, would take, some Christians would take God's money offering, church offering. Would take it to the church. I mean to the home. Or even some will say deposit it into my account. Now, we, we may be wondering what there's nothing wrong in that. You know, I just want to take care of it. But the only thing that is danger there, looking, it is an instrument for the devil. You are giving a leeway for Satan to creep in. Because the devil will make sure that it is the time that you have church money in your hand that the need will arise. Ah, or somebody will come and be begging you for help. You will look at the need, you will look at the money. Ah, won't you fellow for them? I won't You will look at the need, you will look at the money. Why won't you fellow for them? I won't And then you say, Well, I can always, I can, I can always pay you back. So let me take from the money. Oh, that's a muku or timuni noy. But that is a taboo. Even to our tithe. If you take out of the tithe to do something. And you say, well, I will pay it back. The Bible says you are not paying back what you took. But you are paying back with interest. What God is saying is that is sacred. It is not for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So Baba will make sure that nothing that is not his own personal is brought to the house. Baba only How about Jesus Christ himself? The Bible says he went to the temple. When he got there, what did he find? I want to he share found money and changes. Mm. Just as we do in the church today sometimes. When they put an offering, I, I see some people. So yeah, I want to, it's, two, it's only 200 that I want to pay. Well, here is 1,000. 
give me change. Osha, oh yeah, And they will start dipping oh, hand for the offering what basket. Ma, what you are doing there is you are doing exchange. Oh, she, she, yeah, lo, she, pa, she, pa, ro, wo, ni, nu, li, so you are selling and buying in the church in the you temple. Wa, no, si, wa, di, kata, ni, nu, li, so when Jesus saw that, ni, ba, si, jesu, li, ele, what did the Bible say he did? Ki, ni, baby, baby, li, so. Let's oh. see Matthew 21. Matthew chapter 21. And he told them, uh-huh, uh-huh, you are turned into the den of robbers. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Ungodliness from our lives and from our homes. Iwa. Now, Jesus did that in the temple. Now, bringing it to our state, the Bible says we are the temple of God. First Corinthians 3 16, we're not going to read it. Says, don't you know that your body is the temple of God? And the Holy Spirit lives in you. But he says, if anyone will defy the temple of God, what did he say God will do? Him shall God destroy. May the Lord not destroy you. But we must get rid of ungodliness. In our lives. Because we are the temple of God. So when we're talking about removing ungodliness from our homes, that also refers to our marriages. That includes our children. Our spouses. Our houses and our surroundings. In fact, I will say our environment. That means wherever you are, as a temple of God, ungodliness must not have space. And It is disrespectful. For God to be staying in a place, and Satan also dwelling there. Ah, he should not want job and Is it possible? I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There will be no room for Satan in our homes. Satan will not have room in our lives. Satan will not pitch his tent in the lives of our children. Satan will not pitch tent in our calling. In our marriages in Jesus. Name. When we say our lives. That is also referring to our spiritual life. Our spiritual growth. Our physical body. Our businesses. Our social life. Everything that pertains to you. There should be no room for Satan. Tell somebody next to you. As far as I'm concerned, though, my home is a no it's a no-go zone. I decree it in the name of Jesus. It's a no-go zone. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the Bible instructs us and commands us that we must get rid of it. Every form of ungodliness. And that is what First John 3 3 says. Anybody found it? First John 3 3. First John 3 3. Yes. Now listen, listen, listen to the command now. Yes. Oh, look, look, when it's all about me, they say, you know, right? Whoever has this hope in himself and he cleans himself, and he can it all about me, they say, Yes. Okay, now it says if anyone has this hope, what hope? Let's backtrack to verse 1. 
Let's start from one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We are children of God, yes. Yes, verse 2. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What's that mean? You are children of God, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so the Bible says the real you is yet to be made manifest. Now, the person sitting beside you, I don't know who that person is. If that person is a child of God or not, but just the to person. You don't know the one you are sitting with. Just tell the person. You don't know the one you are sitting beside. If only you knew. You would treat me differently. You would treat me with honor. You would treat me with honor. You would treat me with honor. Because the Bible says, I am a child of God. Let's see that verse 2 again, please. Yes. I'm a child of God. Yes. Keep going, please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will be like him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now verse 3 can make sense. Let's read verse 3. If you have this hope that the, who you will be is yet to be revealed, that you will be like him. And you are hoping for that day. Verse 3 now says, You will purify yourself. Everyone that has this hope on him. We remove ungodliness from his life. A woman that realizes this. We remove ungodliness from her life. She will not allow symbolism of Satan in her home. Now I want us to touch this please. Quickly, I want us to touch this um before the time goes. How do we get rid of ungodliness from our homes and from our lives? Ani? There are some cunningness of the enemy that if God is not opening our eyes, he will be hiding in our homes and we will not realize it. Are you here with me? Now, I want us to remember these three letters. V-C-R. 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 I want to ask you about Do we know VCR? Shamo. Video cassette recorder. She ah, might record you now. Mm. Remember? Okay. There's something called VCR. Oh, Kowa. Thank you, VCR. It's in the media. Oh, I love that one. Media. We use it to record, you know, recording. I'm asking by one. Consider that or consider to record. I'm asking by one. Now I'm using this acronym. Hello, long way, Loji. For us to remember the three things. Let's run while let's go matter that we need to do. Tanilo, let's share to get rid of ungodliness. He yet tell the fish that we are be alone from our lives and from our home. Ninu aye wa tinu ne wa. V. E kini o ni ko sa. And V in our lecture here stands for vigilant. Eh, V to wa ni pe ni pe. If you want to get rid of ungodliness, so Papa Shagu, I like what be alone on you. And the symbols of ungodliness, I want me. See, I want be alone on you. You must be vigilant. Oh, God, a journey to you, Jay. I'm not saying go and join vigilante. We have no, you go not that up. Mama, what don't she? I don't show up. But as far as you are concerned, should go for you. What you must join vigilante of Jesus Christ. I knew up what a journey to kiss you. Don't need for you. So, what do vigilante do? What do you do? I want your man share. I don't mind you. I want to my shell. I let you up. We have them in the car. I want to let you up. What do vigilante do? You know, my shell. What is you? Do they sleep? What kiss you? Okay, what else do they do? One more. Why you can't carry. Even the things that ordinary eyes will not see. And you see, you see, you see, you see, they will detect it. Maybe this is somebody just gasping, walking. 
I said, what's up? Vigilante will know how to approach. So you must be vigilant of your house. Sometimes we allow the enemy we can we give the enemy the legal rights without knowing it. How do we give the rights? How about the things that we bring into our house? Some, some artifacts. They are like the cultural, cultural things like the, array, be the statue. Now, some of those things have spiritual implications. And they, are hidden, they, are, they are so subtle that we will not even realize. It. I bought a dress. One time, so beautiful. And oh my goodness. I spent money. Till now, go on, Romilara. I'm still feeling the pains. Beautiful dress. Oh, fine. Only for them to deliver it. And when I look, it looks so beautiful from outside. Oh, oh that I need that. And I wore it. More than what? But after that first time that I wore it, like it, but more one it back. The spirit of God said I should look at the print. And me, me, money go and want to acquire Lara. And I look at the print. More what want to acquire? You guess what they put there? And they just want to acquire. Ah, it's it's a shame to even mention. Ah, it's a junior last down the So it is the Holy Spirit that will open our eyes to those subtle things. I walk, I got away. Maybe my last is you. I love you. See, I want one more. You drama that I watched one day. I went to the market. A man went to the market innocently, bought a statue. Oh, that it looks so beautiful. Oh, that was so decorated. Ah, oh, my shell of shop and brought it home. Oh, that was silly. And the wife was pregnant. I don't know if you have watched that movie. No, my boy, you have to And ever since that statue got to the house, it was trouble for the wife. It was trouble for the wife. The devil will wait and let the man go to work. And all of a sudden, the statue will just be splitting blood. And so, by the time the husband comes home, the blood will dry up. And then she will tell her husband. The husband will be like, ordinary statue. Are you, are you going mental? She said, no, I saw spilling blood. And then another day, the husband will go to work. Then the statue. Whenever the woman comes to the living room, all of a sudden she will be hearing noise. <laughs> From the statue. Now the reason why the statue was destroyed is because she lost the pregnancy. Oh, you hear Jabala Rare. Then that the husband realized Nika Yalo Kweto what he had brought to the house. Oh, so to get what lay and then got rid of it. Oh, what bed that day? Next time, not the damn, she delivered safe. Oh, what be more yellow yata lafia? Because of ungodliness. I want me, I want to be alone. What do you have in your house that is chasing God away? I need to know, I need to know, I told you a lot of that. No, the Bible calls it. Filthiness. The Holy Spirit cannot stay there. And maybe more late, do only better. How about magazines in your house? The magazines in your house. Give me a while. You wait and walk. I want to wait. 
If I get to your living room now, see, my brother, you are right. What door. kind of books will I find? And what will you marry me? I remember there was a time I saw a textbook. Mori, where can you be? Continue, Mori, be where you kick her. That was the very first time I heard. I saw this term in term. Maybe I should call it term or whatever. Their name. And on that book, and I just curiously, I just opened it. At Mokoshi. I don't know the title. Something the title was fascinating. The title was fascinating. And then I opened it. And he was talking about LGBT. I don't know if you heard of it. Have you heard of LGBT? Ah, Emma, innocent in Nigeria. <laughs> it is good to be innocent. Oh no, that thing of the Lesbian, gay. Whatever, B, B, whatever, C. B, B, C. That means different forms of sexuality. A woman can be sleeping with a woman. That is lesbianism. A man can be sleeping with man. That is gay. A man may be sleeping with animal. Sleeping with chicken. That is also inside. It means, one, some may say, in fact, one said, I'm not a lesbian. I'm not gay. But I can do everything together. It's also in the, in the, in the mix. And I saw that book. And I was like, oh my God. So I called my children. Whose book is this? Lord have mercy. Whose book is this? This book must not stay in this house. And then one of them said it was, they gave them in the school. Only one for one in the It was for one of their courses. But the moment he said he saw it, he said he abandoned it and refused to be taken into place. That is the society we are right now. The bodyism of the devil. I said this book is getting out of this house. Too. No way. There was a, a, a beautiful set of shoes also that I that I bought. It looked so beautiful, colorful. But one day when I looked at the shoes, you know what I found there? They had the symbol of skull. You know the ghost skeleton. Yes. That's what, that is what they printed on the shoes. Until one fish no but boy, if you did not look so closely, you would know. To ba wo dara dara o niri. The shoes look so beautiful. But I yima lawa. I say, honey, these Money. shoes are getting out of this. I ni but I yima dada de kuro ni no le lo ni. Ah ah, but these are beautiful shoes, innocent. Then I want but I get it. Then I show the symbols. Mo wa fi amiya hongo. Did you see? Shori. He didn't even notice. Oh, dear, mom. That was the end of those shoes. So my question is, what is hiding in your house? What is hiding in the lives of your children? Are you checking their bags? Their bag when they come back from school. Some of them, it is their classmates that will share something with them. They will say, just, just smell it. Just smell. And the innocent child will begin to sniff. I said, no devil in our house. Is How about media? How about the 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 about to share, right? In, in fact, you don't have to invite on godliness. They will just pop up. Have you ever? Benny, you? Yes, ma. It will just pop up. You did not ask for it. You did not solicit for it. And then you have to be present to delete it. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Give 
vigilant. Eja, edi to show no. Become vigilant member. Ani dala po mo awo ani to show no. Another way you can be vigilant is to pray. On no mi no tatu le ma lo ni kagba dua. Holy Spirit. Wherever the devil may be hiding around, don't allow him. Shine your light, shine your light, shine your light. Shine your light. May the Lord help us in Jesus. Another letter is C. What was the first letter? What does it stand for? Be vigilant. And the second letter is what? C. C stands for coach. Coach. Okay. Train. My, you better. Coach yourself. Train. 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 from your life. From your home. From the lives of your children. You must be taught. Taught what? The word. The word. Let me hear you say the word. I'm not talking about gossip. I didn't say teach yourself about the words that are going on in the city right now. No, you come and shake it. The word of God. Shuba or Rolando. Talking about the salary of footballers. One. 